to another Megan Monday. Thanks for coming by. Unfortunately, it is August and that means you've either started back in school or you're starting back pretty soon. Unless you're not in school anymore, then you never have to go back again. But you've been to school. And I think it's safe to say that all of us have had embarrassing moments at school. I personally have had countless numbers of embarrassing moments at school. Luckily, I did graduate from college last year and I no longer have to go back. But if you do have to go back to school, let me tell you some of my most embarrassing moments so that in case anything embarrassing happens to you, you won't feel so bad. Here we go. I remember all the way back in kindergarten, I had a crush on a boy named John, and my friend, my best friend actually at the time, asked me if I had a crush on him, and I was like really nervous to tell her, but she was my best friend, so I wasn't gonna lie, and I was like, yeah, I do, I have a crush on John. And then she went and told him that I had a crush on him, and I was mortified, and I ran away, and I never spoke to him ever. Then skip ahead a few years to second grade, where I had a horrible teacher. It was my first year living in Georgia, and it was my first year going to a public school, and I had a teacher who hated me for I don't know why. I was actually like a pretty good kid in school, like I did all my work and stuff. But one day in class, my teacher asked me to read out loud, and I was like, okay. And then I started reading out loud, and she yelled at me in front of everyone, like really loudly, like yelling at me. And she was like, talk in your real voice! Number one, I guess that's some evidence that I've always had a different voice. Number two, it was so traumatic, I'm pretty sure I cried. And I just thought it was like the meanest thing ever. Screw you, Miss Shipman, okay? My next embarrassing moment actually happened every single year um, that I was in school. Every single time that I got called on like to answer a question, no matter what class, no matter what teacher, even if I knew the answer, I would always blush. Like, I could probably blush just thinking about it because my body just blushes super easily. And I specifically remember one time my friend looked at me and she was like, oh my god, you're like so red right now. And I'm like, I know, I know, I feel like I'm on fire. Like, you don't have to tell me. Like, I already know. You don't have to point it out to everybody. <sighs> this isn't really embarrassing, but it was more just a moment that sucked that stood out to me that I remembered from school. It was in sixth grade and I had my first boyfriend and we dated for six months and we held hands sometimes. We never kissed, anything like that. But he was my first boyfriend, so that was a big deal. And I remember I was in band class and my friend whispers to me and she's like, my brother told me that your boyfriend's gonna break up with you. The first time you ever get dumped, that sucks. You know? And so she told me that in the middle of class and I remember just feeling like sick to my stomach. And uh... Pears. I'm trying to tell a really traumatic story here and you're being very rude. I guess in a way it was kind of good because then he broke up with me later that night on AIM. And uh, if you don't know what that is, then I'm old. Ooh, this was another traumatic moment in school. Kind of embarrassing, mostly traumatic. I've always been the person that like sticks up for other people. And my friend was getting yelled at by the teacher. So I stuck up for him. And she like started yelling at me and told me that she was gonna give me two demerits. And I was like, what the heck? I never even had a demerit before. And she was gonna give me two at one time for not really doing anything that wrong. And so then the next day I had to have a parent, teacher, and principal conference and my dad gets angry easily. And so we were in this tiny little conference room and my principal's trying to keep the peace and my dad is like asking my teacher, he's like, do you normally give two demerits? And then she's like, well, you see, and my dad's like, just answer the question, I just want a yes or no, do you normally give two demerits? And she's like, um, well, in this case, um, my dad starts yelling, he's like, I just wanna know a yes or no answer. Do you normally give two demerits or not? My dad doesn't sound anything like that, but he was that frustrated. And he was so frustrated that he walked out of the room and slammed the door, and then I was left in there with my mom and my teacher and my principal, and then I just started crying. I just thought I was gonna get expelled. And then my principal was like, let's just all say a prayer real quick. <laughs> 
another time that I got yelled at in high school. This one was so ridiculous. I don't even remember the teacher's name because I didn't even have her personally. She was like the Spanish teacher and I took French. So like a bunch of us, there's only like 40 some kids in my class in high school and we would like leave early from lunch every day which sucks because we already had a short lunch but we didn't have enough time to get all our stuff. So we would leave early to go to our lockers and get our stuff. like not doing anything bad, like literally just getting ready for our next class. It was probably half the class, there's probably 20 of us down there like at our lockers getting ready and then this Spanish teacher comes out, starts yelling at me and only me, like she literally comes up just to me when there's like half my class is here and she gets in my face and she's taller than me and she's like looking down at me, yelling at me. I don't remember like all the things she was saying, like something about like not being allowed to leave lunch early, blah blah blah. And then I was just like, okay, okay, okay. And then she was like, if you talk back to me one more time, I'm gonna give you a demerit so fast I'll make your head spin. That was like a little embarrassing that I was the only person being yelled at when there was everyone else there. I think it was because I was like one of the shorter people so she just thought she could like pick on me. She was on a power trip and just wanted to yell at me specifically. Maybe she was mad I took French instead, I don't know. But she sucked. Um, my junior year at prom, my date didn't dance with me one time. Also, this was super embarrassing. This was like one of my most embarrassing moments of my life probably. We went on a, a school trip to look at colleges. Like a college tour with my class and we were at the College of Charleston. We had our tour guide and he was showing us around. I was like my whole grade and there was like some other schools there too and like towards the end of the tour he was he asked if any of us had any questions left and so I raised my hand and I was just like could you talk a little bit more about the theater department? I know joke like this is not a joke. He literally just looked right at me heard my question and then just was like Okay, moving on. Like, I don't know if he thought I was joking because of the way my voice sounds. It was the most like embarrassing moment because everyone looks back at me and starts like laughing and I was so embarrassed. And I got accepted to College of Charleston, but I didn't go there for that reason. And finally, I'm going to tell you my most embarrassing college moment. It actually lasted more than a moment. It lasted for like a week. I didn't audition for that many shows. I was a theater major, but I just didn't feel like a lot of the shows were right for me. And I just, I don't know, it just felt like out of place. There was one show that was a comedy and I decided to audition for it. It was a really small cast though. And I ended up not getting cast in the main stage production, but instead I got cast as part of the pre-show, which they decided to hold in the lobby of the theater before the actual show went on every night. And in my audition, I auditioned for the part of a female maid, and then for the pre-show, I got cast as a 12-year-old Shakespearean boy. It wasn't even a Shakespearean play. I had to memorize the Shakespearean monologue, then I finally get to see my costume. I wish and I don't wish I had a picture to show you because I'm pretty sure I hid all evidence of that ever happening because it was the most embarrassing thing I've ever worn in my life. I had to wear these blue, puffy, thick shorts with blue tights, this giant shirt like that was so thick, and then I had this big collar thing on, and this hat, and I had all my hair tucked up into the hat, and I didn't have, like, I couldn't wear any makeup except like foundation or whatever, because I had to look like a boy. And then I looked like a boy and had to <laughs> perform this monologue literally right in front of people because it was in the lobby like I wasn't on a stage like I was standing in the lobby where everyone's buying their tickets for the show and I'm just performing this monologue and everyone's just like what the heck this is so weird and by the way in the monologue I had to be talking to my shoe so I took off my Shakespearean little boy shoe and was talking to it I don't think I ever auditioned again after that show but me not having success in theater at my school was why I got into mine. So things work out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed some of my embarrassing school stories. And if you have anything embarrassing that happens to you this year, just remember these stories and maybe you won't feel so bad. Okay you guys, make sure to like the video and subscribe and just show Paris and I some love because she's cute and I love her. We love you. We should all love everybody. Bye. You made it through my whole video? That's amazing. You guys are champions. You're probably already subscribed. But if you're not, don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up because it's really hard to pee when you're wearing a onesie. And don't forget to watch my other videos.
videos. I got some good stuff in here, I promise. I love you. Okay, okay, bye.